And uh, speaking of blood tests, any update on the more plates, more dates yeah, saga? Yeah, yeah. So spoke to Derek. Yep. And he basically, because obviously Matt did that whole procedure with him. And I really don't know how beneficial it was for him because yeah. he did it all, basically proved, hey, I'm natural. And still like half the people in the audience are like, you're not natural. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> what more does he have I, to no, do? People will just refuse to believe in no matter what. So I spoke to Derek and I was like, I want to do the same thing. Obviously I'm based in Dubai, can it be done? And he was like, well, he, he has no contacts in Dubai. The, the federations and the authorities and everybody he used, yep. they're not out in Dubai. It's very different. Yeah. So if I wanted to do it, do the same thing that Matt did, I would have to go to the UK for at least six months. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> yeah, so I need to be there for at least six months to be randomly tested because it needs to be a long, long enough period of time. And that's obviously a problem because I'm not allowed to be in the UK for more than uh, 180 Yeah, 180 90, days. No, 90 days. Oh, what? 90 days? I think it's 90 days. Yeah, three months. Three months max, yeah. Yeah. So that's a problem. Um and then that's just assuming that he would want to do it. Because, I mean, he, he's now busier than ever with his supplement company. Yeah, I think so, he's hardly even uploaded in the last it's one. like, like <laughs> why does he give a fuck? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So, it was, it's, I mean, we'll see. But I think it's, it, again, it's one of those things that I could do. I always watch, like, you know, like Simeon Panda and other people who've yeah. done all these things to try and prove they're natural. And they end up getting more hate yeah. than anything. So I'd, I'd rather not make it, like, a, a big topic and a big deal. yeah. And it's it's not. I don't want me to be. Oh, let's let's just forever talk about is Mike natty or not. It's like like we talk about something else. Well, guys, I've got the ultimate proof. Yeah. I've got the ultimate proof. Me and Mike, I've probably traveled with you more than anybody else. Yeah. And on a particular trip in Ibiza, you, I think I asked to borrow some cologne, yeah. and yeah, we're living together, and yeah, yeah, we're sharing a bathroom. I didn't see any paraphernalia, okay? Yeah. So there's number one, there's number one, and that was weeks on end, unless you found a, a new steroid <laughs> that you just take once a year. And then another one was me and Mike were coming out of DC-10. Oh, yeah. It was about <laughs> six in the morning, both of us off our head, and I started like, oh, Mike, be honest. Having a real heart to heart. <laughs> Having a heart to heart. Are you nutty? <laughs> <laughs> and he is. There's no way. There's no way I could pick up on it. There's no way you can lie in those situations. Yeah. They're those situations of when you are just uh, connected on a spiritual level. Yeah. So no, I believe you. And again, yeah, you would just see it when we're living together for like weeks on end, and you know, in, in Ibiza or whatever. Do you, do you know what's mad now though? Because there are still some natural athletes. Mm in the fitness industry, but <laughs> not a lot. No, there but there actually is, you know? So, so these these guys who, uh, I mean, obviously they're very lucky with their genetics, yeah. but they, they don't want to take anything. They say, look, I'm natural, I haven't taken anything. They end up getting more hate than the people who choose to take steroids and are open about taking steroids. Yes. Like some guys who are like literally blasting trend, but they say, I'm blasting Trent. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trent. <laughs> Encouraging Trent. <laughs> it's, like, it's, really, it's, it's really, really weird. Yeah, it's a strange phenomenon. And see, we know because we're in kind of, kind of the back door of the industry. Like we talk to people on a casual basis. We go on holidays with them. And we can always kind of tell, be it from just a conversation or just because we're experienced. Yeah. You can tell who's natural, who's telling the truth and who's not. And there is some amazing physiques yeah. that, that are natural like yeah. there's some that are just like the way i look at it i go so the same way some nba players are seven feet tall yeah. this is you're just born with it. like yeah, you can yeah. just born with these perfect muscle insertions and muscle building genetics that it's just like there's kind of no point in even debating it once yeah. you throw genetics into the mix i guess i could understand like, <clears throat> so that, for example somebody doesn't have the best genetics yeah so then you know they've been training for a while maybe they want to hop on some stuff as well and they look better. They see somebody else who is literally just like an absolute specimen. Yeah. They would just naturally assume, okay, well, yeah, they're, they're taking something. Like, I don't look like that, so they have to be taking something. Yeah. Like, I, I think a lot of people underestimate what the human body is actually capable of. Yeah. And there are some freaks out there. But there's also a lot of people who do take stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, it, there's a huge amount, but there's still a huge amount of amazing natural physique. So I would say, like, don't let it discourage you. You know, do your best. Put in your mm. 10 years yeah. first and then decide what you want to do after those 10 years. Yeah. I th you, you're probably going to look the way you actually want to look without the use of anabolics. Yeah. Like, nobody wants to be 
like super puffed up, like big round ball. Yeah. You just want to look like aesthetic. Yeah. You want to just look lean, athletic and just like. It's going to take at least five years. Yeah. And also to look a certain, like to look good on Instagram, all you need is be lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. lean and good lighting. Like there's a few guys like, a uh, good example is Alex Eubank. You know, he's not yeah, very yeah. big. Like he just takes a great photo and, you know, gets really lean and like gets a pump on. Mm. And that's half it. You know, David Laid. Yeah, these yeah. guys are all of amazing physiques, but they're just brilliant at, at taking photos and yeah. getting a good pump. Yeah.